Hello, um, my name's Chris and uh, doing something a little bit different today, uh, sort of talking about uh, mental health and um, and yeah, and, 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 and I guess something that I guess isn't talked about enough, I think, uh, you know, um, depression, uh, feeling, your feelings, um, it's something that I'm all too familiar with, um, sort of being and feeling anxious or uh, just down or depressed or difficult, um, having intrusive thoughts, you know, um, and, um, you know, I think a lot, a lot of the time, especially for, you know, younger men uh, as well, there's sort of, uh, there are various schools of thought and we can kind of branch into a million different directions with that and sort of, um, you know, but I think it's, you know, regardless of who you are, whatever your gender, whatever your age, whatever your situation, um, when your mental health is in a difficult position or a diff difficult time, it's tough, you know, and it's diff difficult to go through. Um, and I found in the last couple of years, um, some sort of uh, methods that have helped me, you know, um, so I was, I'm, I was thinking I would talk to you guys a little bit about it and um, just to sort of come clean and be honest and say, you know, it's an ongoing thing. It's not like I don't want to be one of those guys who kind of comes through to it and goes, you know, I'm perfect now. I'm doing amazing. Like, that's just not the truth at all. Um, but I feel like sometimes these things are there to sort of bring us back and kind of keep things moving and, 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 and keep us being kind to ourselves. Right. Um, which is the most important thing. Cause I think sometimes we can get into these feelings and be like, you know, oh my goodness, you know, <laughs> um, uh, what's going on? You know, and we can kind of beat ourselves up. So, um, so yeah, um, the first thing is <laughs> kind of sounds silly, but the first thing is to talk to your friends. You know, if you have people that you can talk to, go talk to them. I think, uh, the, the best thing is to be able to, to to speak and to be able to share and to be able to get perspective and insight most of the time um you know just getting things off your chest is really, really nice but also being able to just spend time with people who love you who care about you uh who you know who really want to listen and be a part of your life and who want to support you you know that's such a beautiful thing and it makes you feel more integrated back into the real world sometimes our brains can be world builders right we can build entire worlds with our brains and just by spending some time with friends we can be reminded that actually there is a real world around us and we can participate in it we just need to come back you know um that's number one number two is create you know um sometimes with emotions they can be rampant and they can you know, sometimes the out the real world doesn't always give us or gift us a sense of closure um, with um, with our feelings. Um, so instead of us um, <laughs> just mulling and ruminating, we can sometimes create something out of it. You know, create uh, in whatever way that works for you. Some people are very tactile. You know, they can create um, they create cards. They can create you know, uh, paper mache pieces. They can. Uh, create clothes, um, create furniture, woodworking is really good. Uh, for me, it's music, you know, I love, I love to make music, I love to write songs, I love to uh, write lyrics, I love to write poems. Um, and uh, um, I think that has been really helpful in terms of um, giving my grief and giving my feelings a space to exist, you know, outside of me. Um, and something I can engage with and I can be proud of actually uh, and engage with as as a creator and say okay cool like this is these are my feelings incarnate right and in that way the songs that i wrote became a sort of therapy um for me you know in, in time i was able to like almost listen to them back and kind of it kind of would help you know um with a lot of intense feelings so creating something is really helpful and it can also serve as like a mantle uh, for the overcoming of a period a difficult period in your life like when you kind of get through it you can kind of look back and have this thing that um, you can you can see and then actually be grateful for it, right? Um, which is really nice. The third one is exercise. You know, um, invaluable. You know, I think uh, it goes without saying that being depressed is a chemical imbalance for sure. Like, uh, as much as it is an external world thing, it can be influenced by the events around us. You know, our brains are our brains, our bodies are our bodies. You know, 
our neurosteroids or our neurosteroids, we got to look out for our uh, our bodies, you know, and, and re-engaging with our bodies is so important for me. Running has been, you know, a lifesaver for me. Um, running a marathon a few months ago, but also just kind of, yeah, look, becoming fitter and, and, and having that space for mindfulness. You know, running a lot of the time, I'm running on my own. So when I'm running on my own, it gives me space to think about things. And it gives me space to let my brain kind of calm down and, and think about what's happening or how I'm feeling, right? Or um, or decisions or actions or like it lets me ponder on things. And that's really handy and really beautiful, um, I find, because, um, because yeah, like, it's it's because running you know because <laughs> it's good but i know people not everyone is a is a cardio is a car, cardio enthusiast um so lifting can be really helpful to you know finding a sport you know doing things in in teams as well meeting new people super important right um meeting new people um just getting out there you know and finding new activities to do so some it doesn't have to always be something super physical it can be like something like archery something like you know shooting <laughs> um you know there are so many things uh, that you can do, um, but, you know, yeah, just making sure you find a sport to go out there and do, and, and make yourself feel a lot more, um, it, it does give you a lot, it rebalances you, right, and it gives you something to kind of directionalize your focus onto. Um, another one is, is, it might sound a bit convoluted, but ruminating, um, sometimes when we're depressed, it's, it's, it's over a certain thing, or when we're dealing with something, it's over a certain thing, and we need to stay with it, you know, we can't just mask it with other things, other people, other situations, you know, we cannot do that, I think, especially as guys, we need to know this, like, we have to sit with the feeling, we have to recognize what we're feeling, how we're feeling, why we're feeling that way, and stay with ourselves, and love ourselves through that feeling, right, so, um, I've been finding that that's been really, uh, helpful for me, um, just staying with myself, just like, you know, being being a friend to myself, right? Um, that's been really helpful, uh, and and allowing myself to ruminate, you know, and acknowledging that rumination is is is, is, a, is a sign that I'm I'm empathic, I care, you know, and that's actually a really nice thing. Um, and uh, even though it's difficult sometimes, because you want to just be kind of free from it, but ultimately, to do that, you have to stay with it. Otherwise, it kind of comes out in other ways, right? So, ruminating as much as it, it can be a pain, it's it's something that's necessary, right? to do um and then the last one last but not least is therapy if you have the means to and if you can go get therapy i think getting professional help is you know a really important step in acknowledging how you're feeling and also trying to get better right um you know sometimes there are there's a whole there are many years of grief that have surmounted up to a point where it's hard to function you know it's hard to deal with your life and you don't need to suffer on your own you know you don't have to suffer in silence right so um, I hope that this video was helpful to some people, someone out there, you know, someone who, um, is struggling with their mental health. As I said, it's an ongoing thing for me, but these sort of things together have been instrumental for me to just look after myself and come back to myself. And I hope that for you guys, that this is, uh, similar, you know, so peace out, look after yourselves and, um, you'll get better. You'll feel better. It's going to be okay. <laughs> See you on the other side.